Hi, my name is Matt Crowley, and I am a product specialist here at Atlas Capco. In today's video, we will be taking a look at how to configure a virtual station in a PF6000 for a mechatronic wrench. And in order to see this in action and learn how to do this, we are going to spend our time in the web GUI of the PF6000. So let's head that way now. In order to connect to the web GUI of the PF6000, we want to open up our web browser, and then we're going to actually just search the IP address of the port we are connecting to. In my case, I'm connecting to the service port, so I will type in the service port IP address of 169.254.1.1. And once I press enter, you can see it will begin connecting to the PF6000's web GUI. Now, since we are wanting to set up a virtual station for our mechatronic wrench, we need to go ahead and find the virtual stations in the PF6000, which can be done by pressing home. And then in the middle, we'll see the virtual station icon. We want to click that. We can see there are no virtual stations here now, so we need to add a new virtual station. To do this, press the plus sign in the top right, and we can see we have created a new virtual station here. So there's a couple different steps we want to go through to complete adding the tool on this. So we'll go ahead and do those now. The first thing is we want to name it. So we're going to name this Mechatronic. And now that we've named it, we want to go ahead and pick our virtual station type. So since I'm using a Mechatronic wrench, for this instance, I'm going to choose a critical control virtual station. And then I want to come down here and I want to select my tool that I'll be using. So once I hit select tool, we can see that I have my Mechatronic wrench paired to this controller. And we can see we have the serial number here to make sure we have the right tool, in which case we do. So I'm going to pick my tool. And it will say tool connected at the top. And then from the drop down menu, we can see there's some different things here we could filter, but keep in mind we do not need this because as we already saw, our tool was connected. The next and last step we need to do to make sure that our mechatronic wrench is properly set up on the virtual station is choose our task. So we click choose task, and we can see that we have our MWR program, which is our multi-step created here. So we select that, and now we can see we have the proper task selected as well, which is MWR program. Now that we have set up our virtual station, in order to make sure that we did everything appropriately and to make sure our mechatronic wrench is activated and ready to be used, all we have to look for is the small blue light on the side of the tool. As long as we see that, we know everything is configured right and we're ready to go. So that concludes today's video of configuring a virtual station on a PF6000 for a mechatronic wrench. If you have any further questions, reach out to your local Atlas Copco representative and thank you for watching.